I hate November. I just don't like it. This stuff, I, I don't understand how... Now, this is Curtis's whole modular metals. Finally set it right after 10 times. Um, there is a link on, there is a link in the description if you want to pick it up. Um, now, I do have an affiliate link for it, just to be transparent. But let's kind of mix it up. What we're going to do is go through some of the materials that I'm probably going to use. But he's got a whole video on how to use a whole range of stuff. And he'll go into a lot more details. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to grab these nodes, bring it over into another blend file, and then kind of massage them in. So here we are in the next blend file. We've got this wonderful red leg, which is, you know, I kind of just made it to make my life easier. We've got only two lights in here. Capiche? Good. So the way to bring across all those nodes, we go file. We can either link or append them. I'm just going to append them just to bring them all over. Here is the blend file that has all those nodes. That's the word. Double click. Let's come into node tree. Select everything with A and then append. So now what we can do is just delete this principal BDSF, shift A, go into groups, and then we can find a material. Let's go gunmetal, I would say it seems pretty good. And straight from here, BDSF into the surface material output. And would you check that out? That is pimp nizzle. Now it's kind of stretched a little bit. And what we can do is select our node, control T. This is node wrangler. It's enabled now by default. Let's delete that one vector into there. Um, change that to object, I believe. There we go. That's a little bit less stressed. And I mean, you can see kind of like all the markings around the edges. And obviously we can change, you know, what kind of uh, color we want. I mean, even if we want, we can have a bit of a hot pink color. <laughs> Don't know why you would want it, but sure. So you can see that's kind of like gunmetal. And you can see that this is now like full PBR. Let's jump into another one. Let's go shift A group. Um, we can go master copper. Let's throw copper in. Oh, there's no vector on that one. Let's throw that on. That looks gorgeous. Far out. Now there's other things we can do is we can kind of go down the bottom here and we can change the age. So it kind of goes into as if it's older. What are the chances? Um, imper imperfections, we can increase them or we can decrease them. Um, the mix AO, uh, min and max, sorry. So this is kind of like a color ramp. So if you look at it like that, and then we can bring these all down and kind of just play around with the settings. Let's bring these imperfections back up. Um, what else can we got? Shift A group worked iron. Ooh, hello, darling. Oh, that looks sexy, doesn't it? Oh, edge wear. Let's go, let's go right in on that edge. This is sick. But obviously, um, what we can do as well, we've, we can open up a, like a glossy BDSF and then we can put our color into there, roughness, normals, and then we can take all those kinds of um, details and kind of expand with a whole bunch of other node groups in there. Let me just quickly go, let's do one more groups before we go scratches. <sighs> All right, let's tr let's play around with this. Um, let's see, add our principal. Okay, 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 okay. And we're gonna plug the normal into there. Let's go roughness, rough. What have we got? Base color, if we make it a little bit darker, Oh, wow. Look at that. So here's one of my older models. Okay. And we can see that I've kind of just thrown a texture on. Let's have a play. I'm going to delete all this jazz. Delete. Let's go file, append, and I'm just going to bring everything over. Downloads. This one. Let's select everything. Append. All right, let's start off with groups. I want to put in, what's the info aircraft? I'm intrigued. 
Oh, yeah. Like, it didn't even do anything, and that looks sick. Let's go scratches. Um, from here, let's go into... Now, you have to remember, I'm doing this, like, really super basic. Um, uh, let's go roughness. Rough. Let's go into the normal. And the mask will leave as is. Let's plug that one into there. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Let's go base color. Let's give it a bit of a gray. Um, bring up the metallic. Wow, look at that. That looks kind of cool. Let's go, let's try something else. Let's, let's just, let's just play. Um, did the nerd master iron we already tried. I am interested in this gunmetal. See what it looks like on here. Go away, please. And we'll make this a bit brighter. Wow. What about on this piece here? Battered metal. No, I want this piece. Okay, let's grab this piece here. And we'll grab all that, delete. Shift A, let's kind of, let's find a, uh, something else. I mean, we could even, let's throw a copper on. Why not? Master copper. Straight into the BDSF. Um, age, I'm going to give it a bit of age. It's seen some years. Yeah, wow. Okay, that looks cool. I'm actually fairly happy with that. I really like that effect. That looks really nice. Even this metal too. Let's kind of redo this a bit. Uh, painted metal? <gasps> no way. Uh, let's go control T on that one. Delete vector. Oh, wow. Look at that. Can I, if I increase the scale, it's... The paint's getting thicker, so if I go 0.2, the paint's thinner. Bring the roughness down. I want less flaking. Give me, give me a darker color. But I do want a bit of shine, so let's bring the roughness down. Actually, maybe the roughness needs to come up. Wow! That looks pretty cool. I really like that. That looks sick. Some really nice wear to it. If you want to pick it up, there is a link in the description. If you want a, more of a longer breakdown video about all the jazz, go check out Curtis's Holt. There's a link in the description as well to his video. Um, it's a lot longer, but yeah, wow. Schmick.